Hello everybody, this is uh, Longshank78 coming at you with a new haul video. I know it's been a while, I've been busy with the move, but uh, I hit up like Frankensons and like four comic book stores, so I guess we could start. First couple books are Frankensons, I went there to pick up some boxes, so looked around, I found this uh, Spider-Man 2099 number 45, it's the second to last issue, it was a buck, so now I have this one and the last issue pretty cool picked this up another haul earlier and I got Marvel Age number 82 for a dollar this is the first appearance of uh, Cable and Strife now I got that now I got the cameo also signed by Rob Liefeld and the first appearance so I guess I'm done with Cable Let's see. And I found another one of these, <laughs> Spectre number 54, first appearance of uh, Mr. Terrific for a dollar. And just so people know I'm not full of shit, here's my original one, which is better. This copy is okay, it's probably like a VF minus. This one's this one's a near mint. And I picked up uh, Rick and Morty number one, first print. I actually paid 15 bucks for that. I normally don't want to do that, but I couldn't find it anywhere and I like the show, so I was like, alright, I'll pick it up. I think I had it for 20 and knocked out 5 bucks. Pretty much what's going for, 15 bucks. But it's okay. Alright, this was at another store. This is at a store I hit up. It's uh, They have all their like back issues at half off. So I got this for uh, 6 bucks, I think. Yeah, I think it was less, but I can't remember. This is part of the Thanos storyline. Now we need uh, 2 more issues. And I have them all. It's Captain Marvel number 25. Uh, this is uh, Dead of Night number one. Just an old uh, Marvel Bronze Age heart. Uh, they had this one. See how it uh, has a date stamp on it? And they had another one. This one was like eight bucks cheaper. <laughs> I got this for four bucks, and, but everything else is fine. I don't mind the date stamp. I'll take that. And uh, finally got this. Giant Size Defenders number three. First appearance of uh, Michael Korvac. I paid, uh, what the hell was it? 12 bucks for it. I didn't want to pay over 10, but the guy had it uh, as a VF plus, which is pretty good for for a book like this because the giant size books are always all beat up. So, yeah, so I got it for 12 bucks. It's pretty cool. And uh it's pretty brutal too, especially the fight with uh, Daredevil and the Submariner when they team up. Let's check it out. All right. This is a uh, giant size creatures number 1 first appearance of a uh, Tigra yeah, I got this for $4. It's in decent condition, too. It's probably like a flying plus. Uh, this is uh, Star Wars number 41. This is the cameo appearance of uh, Yoda. So now I got the cameo and the first full appearance. I got this for 3 bucks. And they had a set of uh, Charlie and the Flytrap. I've been missing the third issue for a long time. Um, Weapon X is the one that got me into this book but it's pretty cool or Arthur Soydam, he writes it and he draws it it's like a post-apocalyptic story, it's pretty cool I just needed the third issue but it was like 6 bucks for the whole set, I'll take it let's see that's the third issue right there and uh what else did I pick up there oh yeah, yeah I picked this up, same store this is uh, Magnus Robot Fighter number five, first appearance of Rai. I got this for five bucks. I've been looking for this book too. Was it the last? Oh, and I got this too. I picked up this creepy number seven, cool uh, Frank Rosetta cover, Werewolf versus a uh, Vampire. I think it's Dracula. No, it's just a vampire. Yeah. So uh, this was uh, how much did I pay for this? Five bucks. I didn't know the magazines were half off, so he had to pretend. I told him, can you do eight on this? I was, like, I was going to give it to you for five, but I was like, no, nah, no, nah, I'll take the five. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Let's see. All right. And then, actually, no. Yeah, I hit up uh, another store just for supplies, and I only got this. Picked up this one-shot special of Thunder Agents, because there's supposed to be a movie or TV show. I don't know. But I thought it was pretty cool. It was four bucks. Well, I thought, why not? That's all I got at this store. There was nothing. So there's only like two more stores left. <laughs> Alright. This is done. Alright. This is the third store I went to. 
this is Iron Man number 100. He didn't have it. He didn't have a price, but he's like he looked it up. I thought he was gonna give me some crazy price, but it was eight bucks. It's pretty cool. I've been looking for this book, and it's in high grade too. It's nice. And this is a Marvel premiere number 31. First appearance of the Wood God. It's he's not a big character. It's a minor key, but uh, I couldn't pass it up for three bucks because of the condition. It's really nice. It's a near mint. And finally, I get this. Like, I never cared about it before. I passed it up in dollar bins, 50 cent bins. It's like, I didn't want to pay over five bucks for it, but I ended up getting it for 10 because it was in high grade and I couldn't find the damn thing. But it's, it's really high grade. And it's the uh, Moon Knight number one. It's the first appearance of uh, Khonshu, the, the Egyptian god that brings him back to life. And the first appearance of uh, Bushman, which is mostly his, his arch ne nemesis in all the books. And this is the last book I think I picked up there. Preacher number 12, The Death of Grandma. This book goes for like 20, 25 bucks. And if it's bagged, you go for even more. But I couldn't find the thing and finally I found it. He had it for three bucks. And yeah, that's it. That's all I got from that store. So this is the last store I went to. I got this uh, Marvel 2-in-1 annual. Number seven, first appearance of a uh, champion. He's one of the elders of the universe. He's the guy using the power gem all the time. Yeah, I got this for five bucks. I already had a copy of this, but mine was kind of dinged up. So I picked this one up. And I got this uh, Moon Knight number 15 solely for the cover because uh, Frank Miller drew it, I think, with uh, Joe Jus Jusco or is it Jusco. It's a cool cover, and it was only uh, two bucks. All right, this is uh, Mark Spector Moon Knight number four. First appearance of Midnight, which is the son of uh, the Midnight Man that came out in his original series. But Midnight becomes the sidekick to Moon Knight. So I thought it was like a little minor key to have. So uh, this was two bucks. And I'm done with these last three variants. Was uh, This is Moon Knight number nine from the current series, the one in 25 variant. I paid uh, 10 bucks for this. I didn't want to pay that much, but I got the, the I got seven and eight for uh, I think it was fifty cents each or twenty five cents, so I figured eh, ten bucks, well eleven bucks for all three. I just that's okay. All right, now this is Punisher War Journal number seventy nine. This is the only uh, countdown issue I was missing. It's not even that expensive. I was just for some reason I couldn't find it. This is the death of uh, Microchip. It's a pretty cool. This is Adventure Comics number 467. This is the first appearance of uh, this Starman. I don't, I don't, I'm not really, uh, I'm not really clear on what's going on with Starman, like the original Starman. I think it was like a Golden Age character. So I don't know, maybe this is the second Starman. But yeah, I saw it for two bucks, so I just picked it up. And this is a shout out to uh, Mercenaut. This is Deathstroke number 53. I guess it's the first, I still don't even, I'm not even clear on who the, who the first appearance of this is. I guess it's someone that's going to be on the TV shows or something. But I saw it for two bucks, so I wasn't going to pass it up. And uh, Mercer and I actually showed this in his last video, but I was already looking for it. This is uh, Justice Society of America, number one. First appearance of uh, Jesse Quick. And it's actually signed by Len Strazuski or Strazuski, I don't know how to say his name. But yeah, it was a. Uh, let me see, I paid for this. I think it was like four bucks. It's pretty cool. And uh, I think you showed this. I don't know if it was the last video or the video before, but yeah, I just run into the stuff. This is a Suicide Squad number 38. I guess the first time they actually show Oracle as being uh, Barbara Gordon. This is a pretty cool issue, too. It's all on uh, Bronze Tiger. I was like, yeah, it made me interested in this character a lot more. This was uh, three bucks, I think. And this I wasn't even looking for. I was looking for uh, I was looking for what's that guy's name? Adam Hughes variants to the Teen Titans, and then I just went through the box and I ran into this, and I oh, I seen this in a couple of videos, so I'll just pick it up for two bucks. And I think yeah, that was the last one of that. And then this is the one that was uh, I was most happy to find. Let's see, did it come out? Yeah, this is a uh, Deadly Hands of Kung Fu number thirty-two. First appearance of uh. I think it's the Daughters of the Dragons. It's a, uh, I guess, I don't know if it's the first team up between Misty Knight and um, 
Colleen, um, I forget her name, but it, it's like, I noticed on eBay, it's like jumping up, it's going for like 40, 50 bucks, sometimes more. I picked this up for six bucks. I thought it was a good deal. So yeah, that's my haul. So, uh, I guess I got a hundred subs now. So, um, my next video should be a contest vid. Uh, I kind of figured out what I'm going to do. It's probably kind of cool and there'll be some really dope prices. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure you're going to want to enter this. Uh, all right, this is uh, Longshank78 signing out. Thanks for watching, guys.